fuel to get to Mars may already be on the moon, or at least all the stuff needed to make it. Should we go? Well, that according to a report at Study Finds. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate that. Scientists say soil from the moon could one day be turned into rocket fuel to power the mission to the red planet, according to new research that has been tested with actual moon soil. I'll tell you more about this video here in a second. Hopefully sooner rather than later, we can go find out if this doorway looking thing on Mars is really a doorway. This moon fuel theory offers hope that a lunar village or a base of sorts could be built that would include a launch pad and mining operations. The moon is a treasure trove of valuable resources. Gold, platinum, and other rare metals for next generation electronics are awaiting extraction. But there's something else there that might be able to power a ship. The Chinese team proposed a technique called extraterrestrial photosynthesis. It takes advantage of lunar soil and solar radiation, the moon's two most abundant resources. No clouds. An analysis of coarse and jagged dirt granules brought back by China's Chang'e 5 spacecraft found it contains compounds that convert carbon dioxide into oxygen. They are rich in iron and titanium that work as catalysts under sunlight. In fact, this video shows photovoltaic-driven water electrolysis catalyzed by lunar soil. Scientists say they could use the power of the sun to extract hydrogen from water that they know is located on the moon and from astronauts breathing exhaust into oxygen and hydrogen. And then BAM! Rocket fuel. Liquefied oxygen and hydrogen makes rocket fuel. Through this entire hocus pocus, the process also yields hydrocarbons such as methane, which could also be used as fuel. Sunlight produces the water, oxygen, and fuel that could support life on a moon base. China's future crewed lunar missions are set to test crude, like Cruise, not crude, like as in, oh, how crude. <laughs> China's future crewed lunar missions are set to test the renewable energy method known as electrolysis. Scientists say launching from the moon instead of Earth would make spacecraft much lighter and cheaper. Earth's atmosphere and gravitational pull mean tons of fuel per second are needed for liftoff. <laughs> kind of like how hard it is for me to get out of this chair. I need a moon office. Fun fact. NASA's Perseverance Mars rover has an instrument that makes oxygen out of CO2. It's powered by a nuclear battery on board. That might be a little more dangerous than the sun. I know China's planning on getting to the moon soon, but NASA's ambitious Artemis project plans a lunar base by 2028, along with a lunar space station called Gateway to facilitate trips to Mars. China's hoping to win the race to Mars by landing the first human on it within 10 years. Wow. Maybe I've got that lunar office in my future. <laughs> you can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.